But there we have it there. So click on that, scan. I want to select on screen the things I'm interested in. And this big window's in the way, so let's click on condensed. I'm interested in this table here. So let's click on that because it's in blue. And I like this as well because I need to be able to type in the result in here. So I click on that. So now we click on finish screen. Click on advanced to open it up and click close. It would be nice if they had a close button there as well. So now we can see we've got our little uh, our timetable and our result text. Now let's get the name of it. We give it a nice name and it's meeting scheduler. So let's create a folder with a number colon meeting meeting scheduler. And let's drag our little scanned module in there. We got a folder, copy, and we create a new test test case. Give it the same name. And then we shall drag it in here okay like that <clears throat> now using a table how do we actually interact with things when we're using tables well let's go back to the test the test says on Thursday the 11th uh, 11 a.m. now you can search by column or you can search by row it's up to you some people have a preference I don't okay um, we can go in here and select by column first. Oh no, let's do row. Okay. The row is the first thing and then column. So let's select row. You have the first row, a specific number row, the last row, the header, the first empty row, the last content row. Well, we're actually looking for this thing here. Copy and paste is your friend. Okay, so the row name is that. And the cell is Thursday. So, oh, it's already got Thursday in the list. That's convenient, isn't it? It's got dollar one, n, and last. What else it got? Thursday. That's lovely. Okay. And now we want to store what's in that, don't we? At the intersection of these two things, we want to store the open or closed. So let's uh, let's buffer that, and let's give it a variable name. Room at the in, I don't know, we'll just call it room availability. Copy and paste that because we're going to need to, because we've stored it in a buffer, we can now refer to it using this funny little syntax. Okay, so let's see if it runs. not working. What is it doing? Let's stop that for a second. More than one matching tab was found. Let me see, do I have it open a couple of times? Oh, I do. I have it open in Chrome as well as having it open in IE. So let's uh, let's try it again. F6. Okay. It did that. No, it didn't do that. Something going wrong. Room on input availability. Ah. You see the way this is action mode? The action mode here is set to verify. I wanted to select that one. So it's the timetable, which is this window, this uh, square thing here. And we're selecting that table, and we're selecting 11 o'clock, and we're selecting Thursday, and then we're buffering, which is basically recording, keep it safe, in this thing called room availability. And then down here, we're going to input room availability into this window here. So let's try it one more time. not working. Let's learn from the mistake.
more than one control found for action cell. Ooh, hang on. We've already selected the time and the day. This needs to go up here. I need to buffer that one, sorry. My mistake, guys. Let me just delete that row. So we're selecting the timetable, we're selecting the time, and we're gonna and then using the Thursday column we're gonna buffer the availability. Alright. What did I say? Third time's a charm? Or is it third time or third time a charm? Alright, here's the third time. Make the magic happen. Yes! Okay, cool. Let's go back now and see what we've done there. That looks good. Okay. Now, that's all well and done, but it just gets the value, the room availability, and, and puts it in there. That's all, that's all well and good, but we need to structure this in a professional way. All right. Preconditions as usual. And we want our little piece of automation in there into the process folder. And then post conditions. And this test step needs to be a little bit more detailed, right? Determine um, room availability based upon day and time. Okay? But what do you think the preconditions might be? Well, if we look at these other tests, we know the preconditions would be opening up a URL. What's the URL? That's the URL. All right, so let's just go in there and change that. That's a different obstacle. It's not the one we want. And we also need to verify the solution thing appeared to tell us we did it properly. And then the post condition would be to close the browser, right? Copy that and paste that in there. Now we can go off and kill our explorer. We have nothing else running, we just have a folder and video and the recorder running. So if we go in and run that, it should open up Internet Explorer. There we go. Go to it and uh, You'll see we've verified that the next solution thing, which indicates success, appeared. That's the end of that video. Cheers, guys.